Welcome to my channel folks. In the previous video, we saw how to configure Elasticsearch on your EC2 instances. In today's video, we are going to see how to configure Logstash in one of your EC2 instances and push the log messages to your Elasticsearch cluster. So there are a couple of prerequisites. The first prerequisite is having an Elasticsearch cluster up and running. Next one is making sure you have Java version 8. So I already set up an EC2 instance and logged into it. Let us go ahead and check the Java version there. So let us go ahead and say Java hyphen version. And you can see here I have only version 1.7 and we need to install 1.8. So let us go ahead and install it. And once I install 1.8, I'm going to remove the 1.7 also and confirm the path of the JRE is also set up. So once that is done, our next step is to make sure that we are going to install the Logstash repository and then we will use the M command to install it. If you are not sure how to do that, don't worry about it. I have written all the commands that are necessary to run this tutorial. All you have to do is go ahead and copy paste these commands into your terminal and you should be able to configure your GPG keys and create the repository and install them using the M command. So let's do that. So now that my GPG key has been accepted, let us go ahead and create the repository. And my repository is created. And after that, all I have to do is m install logstash. So once the installation is complete, we'll have to do a couple of configuration steps. That is what log files that we need to configure or push to Elasticsearch domain. So that is uh, input files and then we want to tell Elasticsearch how the output file should look like, how the log should be parsed. So those are the configuration files that we are going to create next. Here you are in the configure section of the GitHub article. All you have to do is uh, copy this entire section that will go ahead and create your inputs as well as outputs and you are telling Elasticsearch how you want to filter it, what kind of messages you want and how the date format should look like. So I have written all the syntax exactly as it needs to be and all you have to do is just go ahead and paste them and this is going to copy all my logs that is under slash where log and then anything under messages and all the syslog information. All those information are going to be copied there into Elasticsearch domain. So now that we informed Logstash what files it needs to push it to Elasticsearch, we also need to ensure that Logstash has permissions for those files. Otherwise, you'll be getting an error saying Logstash is not having access permissions for those files. So let us go ahead and add the permissions now. So now the permissions are also added. All that is left with is make sure Logstash is starting at boot time and then start it as a service and let us go ahead and check in our Elasticsearch domain. So let us go one by one. So first step is to configure Logstash to run as a service. So this is the syntax for making sure that Logstash runs as a service. So we have done that. Next is to make sure we are starting Logstash, service, Logstash, start. And if you want to ensure that it is running, all you have to do is go ahead and say status. Now we can see that it is running. And now we can go to Elasticsearch GUI and see whether any log messages are being pushed there. Here I am in my cluster GUI. And if you want to ensure that you just make sure that you are connected to your domain. And you see here already my log stash indices have started appearing here. In case it is not appearing for you, just go ahead and click on refresh and you can see here the size changes that is more and more documents are coming in. And how do I know this is my index? Just go here and make sure the date format is correct and then go to browser and you can go ahead and see the fields here. So how do I know that my messages are coming in here? So let us go ahead and push a dummy message and come here and search for it using the message field here. So here I'm going to say echo Welcome to Logstash demo. And I'm just going to put it to where log messages. And I'm going back to my cluster now. Here you can see here immediately the messages started appearing here. And if I click on that, it says here the message is here. If you want to filter only that message, we can also go ahead and search it as well. 
just make sure that uh, you search it in lowercase and here you go the same message has been picked up so that is how you configure logstash to send messages to your Elasticsearch cluster if you have any difficulties in doing this let me know in the comment section i'll happy to help them with you and in the next video we are going to see how to configure kibana for your Elasticsearch cluster and create visualizations for your log messages it might be some server going up or down or you want to see whether an ami is being built or there's a failed logins in your messages all those kind of things you can do with your kibana dashboards Thanks for watching. Happy learning.